welcome back to Dan's Messy Garage. This is going to be day 13 of working on the 74 pickup. Today, I'm going to start by painting this cap corner. I got a uh, can that's mixed up with acrylic enamel, shop line JE. Color is called Sand Piper Yellow. And um, I'm hoping it's going to match. Now, Scott wanted me to see if I could spray it on so it wouldn't be shiny. I said if it's not, if it's shiny, I can take a scotch bright when it's dry and kind of dull it up to make it look like the rest of the truck. So, I'm going to do what I can. It goes nothing. I'm going to do a real light coat first. Let that tack up. And then I'll put more on. I think that's good for the first coat. Bring you back in a few minutes. Okay, here we go with coat two. That's good enough for coat two. Come back in 10 or 15 minutes, half hour, whatever, and do it again. Okay, it's time for coat number three. Okay, now I was thinking to uh, make this dull, I can let that tack up and then spray like a, call it a dry spray coat on there far away because that uh, dry spray doesn't have as much of a shine as this is having or has. So maybe I'll try that. But, uh, uh, the problem with doing that, or I don't know if it's a problem, but when you do that, you're not going to see the outcome until it dries. So we're going to have to wait for this to dry anyways. I'll let you know what I do later. Okay, I got the cab corners painted. I got the door top painted. I got the inside, I don't know what you call that, header maybe above the rear window. Got that painted. And that's the other cab corner. Now that paint was really thin. I ran out, plus it was so thin. I got some sags and runs. So I'm gonna have to sand that out of there and then mix up some of the other paint that's in the can 
and I'll be able to blend this area with the door and the corner better. Inside, uh, it's hard to tell. I don't have enough light. I'll look at that tomorrow. Get some light on it. That might be okay. Might not. Who knows? So, this is going to be a very short part 13. I do have the paint on there. It's uh, unfortunate that it was so thin and it, and I got runs. Got a little drip there. Sagatism right there. But yeah. I'll I'll be able to make it look better. So thanks for watching part 13 of painting the cab corners of the 74 F250 truck. Bye.